Want to break the internet? You asked for it? So let's go. Who is the Antichrist? One of the greatest mysteries, not only of the Bible, but really of our world since the beginning of time. Something that has stumped theologians, scholars, and even Nostradamus himself. Since the words were written in the book, the Bible, countless people over time have tried to figure this mystery out. The very same mystery we may have just solved today. I am just here to state the facts. Do with it what you will. But what if I were to tell you the name of the Antichrist may have been given to us already by none other than Jesus Christ himself and none other than this book right here. But first things first. TikTok. This video is purely for entertainment purposes only. All facts stated are strictly speculation. Oh, let's go. But before we get down to the nitty gritty of potentially the Antichrist's actual name, we will first need to run through some of the attributes. The attributes of the Antichrist that the Bible says he. That's right, I said he. The Antichrist will be a man. The attributes that he will have. Oh, and FYI, yes, the Antichrist is in this world as we speak. Alive and kicking and many believe, is just raring to go, ready to be ushered in, into power. So first check, checked. He will be a man. Check. Second check, yes, he is very much alive. Second check, check. He will also be a political leader, either a current leader or previously a leader of a nation before. Check, check. How do we know this? Well, after the Daniel 9 seven-year peace treaty is signed, which many believe is happening as we speak at the SDG summit, the signing of this peace treaty will usher in the new world, one world government, where all nations come together as one. And of course, this global one world government, it will need a leader. And they're not exactly going to offer this position, the leader of the world, to anybody whose resume doesn't have previous experience of at least leading a nation themselves. It will have to be a previous or current president, dictator, czar, do they still have those? Or king. You can't be a president of a book club or the regional manager of a Burger King. They're not going to give it to some Tom, Dick, or Harry. No, they're going to want a dictator for the one world government. So a man, check, with current or previous experience of leading a nation, check, check. Currently alive and kicking in the world, check, check, check. All right, don't shoot the messenger, but this next check is going to straight have you picking your jaw up off of the floor. As the next fact I'm about to drop about the Antichrist might not be something that a lot of people know. Hang on to your britches, bitches, because according to the Bible, the Antichrist, this man, will be gay. Daniel eleven thirty seven explains this very clear. Neither shall he regard the gods of his fathers, nor the desire of women. I'll say what? Nor regard for any god, for he shall magnify himself above all. Uh, ego much? But yep, there you go. Pretty unrefutable facts. That was hard to say. <laughs> Irrefutable facts. Still hard to say. Anywho. So a man, check. On this earth already, check, check. A previous or current ruler or leader, check, check, check. And a homosexual with no want or desire for women, check, 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 check. And to be honest, by the time we get to the end of this video, that last fact might make a little bit more sense. It might actually make a lot more sense, as there have been a lot of truths revealed just lately about a certain person. Well, you'll see at the end. If you know, then you know. He will also obviously not be a Christian. Shocked face. <laughs> but he will also not be an atheist. I mean, if anybody knows God and Jesus are real, yeah, it's him. He will seek to be worshipped and exalt himself over God. But he will claim to be God incarnate, insisting on being worshipped by the masses. He will blaspheme God's name. He will display miraculous powers. And after the seven-year peace treaty is signed, the one that is prophesied in Daniel 9, he will be given full authority to reign. And that reign will last for 42 months, three and a half years, at which time he will break the peace treaty. He will have full control over the world's economy, ushering in the one world currency during his reign, which many believe and speculate will be the mark of the beast. Again, this is purely for entertainment purposes only. All these facts are purely speculation, TikTok. We're just having fun. With this one world currency, he will implement a mandatory means for things like payments. Recent news has been all a buzz about a chip in your hand. I believe Amazon Prime already has that as well. But under this, with the one world currency, if you do not have this, you will not be able to buy, sell, trade, or barter, just like it says in the Bible. The chip in the hand, the mark of the beast. Causing those who take the chip, the mark of the beast, to worship the beast, pledging allegiance to the beast, taking the chip in the hand in order to buy, sell, or trade. Now remember guys, if you take the mark of the beast, that's a big no-no. Just don't. He will desecrate God's temple. He will turn on Israel after 42 months. He will cause earth's army to fight against God's saints and the angels. 
And then his final destination after all of this busy, busy stuff that he's been doing, he will be cast into the lake of fire. So now we kind of know about the Antichrist, his attributes, his timeline, and his plan. Let's get down to why you're still watching. The entire point of this video, the Antichrist's name given to us by Jesus himself. Who did Jesus tell us exactly in the Bible the Antichrist just might be? First things first, it is vital for you to understand one thing. Jesus speaks in parables through the scriptures. Parables are basically riddles, hints, and clues. You can't just read the words and simply leave it at that. Mm -mm. Oh no, you must see beyond what is written on those pages. Through discernment of the Holy Spirit, you must have eyes to see and ears to hear. These parables are clues that must be deciphered. Knowing that Yeshua, Jesus, gave us all of the answers right there in that book, it is now up to us to decipher and figure them out. We are that generation that the Bible speaks of, the generation that shall not pass away until all of these prophecies are fulfilled. So who is the Antichrist? A man, a man alive and well, a previous leader with homosexual tendencies. Come on, auntie, just spill it. All right, okay, let's go. In Luke 10, 18, Jesus said, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from the heavens. Now remember, Jesus speaks to us in riddles. And that beautiful Bible that you are reading in English has been translated from its original tongue. Jesus spoke in Aramaic, the oldest form of Hebrew. So when Jesus said he saw Satan falling like lightning from the heights of the heavens, know this, a simple Google search is about to rock your world, just like it rocked mine months and months ago. What is the Hebrew word for lightning? The Hebrew word for lightning, Barak. Spoiler alert, I bet you can guess what the Hebrew word is for great heights. Oh yeah. High place or high places? Oh yeah, that's right. Bama. Oh, it gets better because you know grammar and all. To link the two words in Hebrew, they use wa, either a U or an O as a conjunction. So if we were to translate into Hebrew, lightning from heaven or of the heights, and we were to read that verse as Jesus had in Aramaic, in Hebrew, where he said he saw Satan falling like lightning from great heights or from heaven, it would actually translate to this. And I saw Satan fall like Barack Obama instead of lightning from the heights. I saw Satan fall like Barack Obama. Yeah. At least in my book, it does. Many things have come out about Barack Obama recently. Many. One of which is his name is actually not Barack Obama. But his actual birth given name is Barry Sotero. Somewhere in his lifetime, Barry Sotero became Barack Hussein Obama. Hmm. And if this is true, and his name really is Barry Sotero, then did he, a man, a former president, who there has now been recently great proof, is in fact, and has been a homosexual man, choose the name Barack Obama, perhaps already knowing what we are all just now discovering, was the actual name that Yeshua told us would be the name of the Antichrist. Did he really choose to change his name and call himself Barack Obama, knowing the scripture translation of lightning and great heights describing the Antichrist was in fact Barack Obama? Did Barry Sotero in fact actually give himself the name of the Antichrist? It's not exactly the most common names. I mean, really, y'all, what are the odds of that? Yeah. Yeah. Did we just crack the code of who the Antichrist might be? Again, I just give you the facts. Do with them what you will. Guys, Yeshua is coming back soon. Please repent. Turn from sin. Give your life fully to Christ. And I'm just going to have to leave you now with this. <laughs> There's a towel down there. You get the drift. Mic drop. I want to thank you. God is the one and only true living God. The creator of heaven.